Hey guys, it's Michelle. Um, so I just thought I would update you. It's been a little while. Um, I thought I would have a, hey, look at me, I'm skinny update, but, um, I don't. Suffered a few setbacks. Um, I had surgery, gastric sleeve surgery, and July 27th? No, it wasn't July 27th. Anyway, it was in July of 2017. I think it might have been July 5th. It's been a while, I don't remember. Um, Anyway, had some setbacks. Um, the main one was in June. We found out um, that my dad had terminal cancer. We found out on June 6th. Um, on June 13th, we ended up having to pull life support. And then he passed away on June 17th. And then we had a funeral on June 21st. Um... We were afraid to leave the hospital, and so we were pretty much dependent upon stuff that people were bringing because we weren't sure um, if we were going to leave, and that was going to be the last time we'd see my dad. So I just didn't leave the hospital for two weeks. Uh, my poor children, six and eight, spent almost three weeks of their summer vacation either in a hospital or helping to plan funerals or at a funeral. And then the aftermath of literally eating to try to fill a void. Because, I mean, you, you guys know, it's not our stomachs that are the problem. It's our heads. And even though they can fix your stomach, they can't fix your brain with the surgery. And I eat to cope. And so I was literally eating to fill the void that my dad left when he died. And as a result, between June 6th and a couple of weeks ago, I put on almost 30 pounds. So, it's possible if you don't do what you're supposed to do and you don't eat the things you should be eating, you will gain weight. I'm, you will gain weight. It sucks, but it's the way it is. So, use your tool correctly. Um, I went back to the doctor about a week and a half ago. Dr. Oldham in Louisville. They were awesome, by the way. Um, I figured I was going to get fussed at, and I didn't. You know, he just told me, you know, you got to get through things the way you got to get through things. And he said, you're here, so you're obviously ready to put in the work and do what you need to do. So he put me on um, a two-week partial liquid diet, very similar to the one I did Um in order to get the surgery. So a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and a sensible dinner. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Um, it ends on Sunday. It actually hasn't been as difficult as I thought it would be. Um, but we're trying to get prepared. My family and I are going to Disney World um, at the end of September and beginning of October. And I would really like to be able to walk and enjoy myself. And not feel like I'm going to die. So, um, you know, plus I would also like to like to use the tool that my insurance paid $42,000 for. Um, so, that's the story. Back on track. You know, stuff happens. Life happens. You just kind of have to deal with it the way that you can. And in a situation like that, it's just kind of a matter of surviving. And that's what I had to do. I had to just survive it. And it sucks. And I miss my dad every freaking day. But I also know that he wouldn't want me sitting around moping and, you know, eating myself back to where I was. Where I was barely mobile and being a shell of a mother to my kids, they deserve better than that as well. So, um, that's the update for now. Um, I will keep you guys updated as things progress. I'm already down a few pounds from where I was. So hopefully by the time we go to Disney, I'll be back to where I was and then under. And, um, I've been walking and trying to run and stuff every day. So we'll see. I'm hopeful that, um, we can get back on track. And my husband had the surgery last year, 
right before Christmas and he's down quite a bit and he actually started doing the liquid diet with me and he's already down like 20 pounds and I'm down like six which is so unfair but anyway um so um I'll keep you guys updated hopefully next week I'll come back on and let you know where we're at right now but this is Michelle signing off bye